Yo, how's it going? It's Marcus Kaber. So there's a lot going on with PSTH. What is happening? And there is a few different things that are under the cover here a little bit that I don't think everyone's going to just quickly grasp right away. So we're going to take an initial dive into this and basically kind of try to understand what the different parts are. And we might not get everything right. We might not actually understand everything at the end of this. But first of all, we are kind of understanding this idea of that they're going to acquire 10% of basically Universal Music Group. Okay, that's understandable. That's UMG. Now, the next part of this, basically, we're looking at the three different things that are going to be happening, basically, in terms of the transaction of a single PSTH, right? So we have, first of all, the share of UMG that every shareholder will get. And that's approximately valued at $14.75. Okay, so we have that down. Now there's a little bit of a difference between that and 20, right? So then we have also basically PSTH is actually going to be remaining on the stock market, basically. So PSTH will remain there and have a value approximately of $5.25 in cash. Okay, per share, right? So the other thing is that basically there is this SPARC holdings, right? So what this is basically is that they're going to be finding a company and when they find a target, shareholders of PSTH, I think the timeline is about maybe five years, they get the option basically. So if you're a shareholder of PSTH, First of all, and you know, this is amazing drawings here. First of all, you get, like I said already, you get the uh, UMG shares. And one thing to note about UMG shares is just that, A, is that these shares, you'll get them probably in the, somewhere in Q3 of 2021. So that's good to know. And again, $14.75. And again, PSTH is going to remain on the, the stock market, and that's going to have a value of just the difference there, right? So that's going to be $5.25. Okay, so PSTH, again, except it's going to be a small PSTH. Okay, so the other thing to know about PSTH is that this is no longer a SPAC. So just be aware of that. So technically, this could go to zero, right? Uh, basically, there's no redeemable value from this inherently, right? So that's just something to be aware of. Okay, now what else is happening? Well, if you are a PSTH holder, basically, you now also, you get the right to purchase basically this, this S-P-A-R-C, right? Okay, so what is this, and why is it so interesting? And also, I think it's an option of about you have five years that you have this option to to buy this. Also, you don't buy this right away. You wait until a definitive agreement is actually completed. And if you like that company, then you get to buy it at the NAV level. Basically, you get to be the first one in. To buying this. It's like buying PSTH at 20, the NAV level, right? So I bought PSTH, I think my average right now is like $23.72. That's actually where it's kind of trading, I think, at the moment. Actually, it looks like pre-market, we're up a little bit. And this is kind of what I'm thinking. I was thinking that basically, if people, and it's kind of more of a when, when people understand what is going on here with all these different parts and why this is such a value game changer, this optionality to buy this and not have to basically upfront put your capital there. You have just the option of, okay, well, I like this company. I'm going to buy it and I get to buy it at the nav essentially and buying it before other folks buy it. So that's pretty interesting. So this is the simple breakdown of what is going on here. And let me know if you guys have any thoughts and if I got anything wrong here. And I'm pretty excited about PSTH. And like I'm saying, I think that we had a drop. People just saw this UMG 
and was like, okay, well, this isn't Stripe. And we're like, oh man. And I'm not sure why people thought Stripe was actually even uh, on the table. But anyway, this is something that dropped the prices of this pretty low. Let me know in the comments if you guys actually picked shares up down here. That would have been insane. I actually didn't get a chance to buy any shares down there. Uh, basically, when I saw it, I was back at my cost basis and I was busy doing other things and couldn't buy more. But if I see this dip for any reason, because people are not understanding what is going on here, and maybe people don't like what's going on here because this is kind of a long game type of thing. Maybe they don't aren't interested and don't see the value of the optionality, basically, of being able to buy this SPARC when it finds another target and a definitive agreement. Well, I hope you guys got some value from this content. If you haven't already, smash that like button, subscribe to this channel for more content like this, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.